Hello everyone, my name is Jake, and today I'm going to show you how to install mods for Arma 2. Um, I've had a lot of people on, uh, in, you know, in my group for Arma, uh, you know, trying to install mods and having trouble with it. <clears throat> uh, and, you know, it's a pain in the ass to try and explain it through, you know, a voice chat. It's just, it's just not easy enough. Uh, and then, you know, there's there are tutorials on Armaholics website, they have little tutorials and things, and you can usually find any information you need by simply Google searching it. Um, but I understand how incredibly complicated it can all seem and how difficult it can be to figure it out. Uh, I mean, I did. But once you do figure it out, it's very, very easy, uh, and you know, you just gotta kinda get a hang of, a hang of it. So let's get started. Um, I'll show you basically how to do this with the uh, RHM40 pack. So little weapon mod. Um, all mods install the exact same way with Armor 2, um, unless of course the user, the uh, the creator made an install file, which is rarely the case. Generally it will use the mod folders system, uh, which is very simple to use, just a little bit confusing. So, uh, you know, I've already downloaded this, uh, I've got it all set up. Uh, but basically what you do is you know, you go into Armaholic, and you know, if there's a specific mod that you're looking for, easiest way to find it is to just do a little Google search like this. This is always, this is what I tell people, you know, all the time. Arma 2 Marsoc, sorry, Marsoc mod, you know, and you click on the link here for Armaholic, and there you go, you've got the Marsoc mod right here by Meatball. You can find, or you can do a search for Arma 2 Hazarkot Valley. For instance, and this will get you the Hazarkot Valley map. Uh, you know, it's right there. It works the same for maps, uh, infants, vehicles, orders, weapons, whatever. Doesn't matter. Uh, you can find it all on Armaholic, all the same way. So now, once you are at the page for the download for the file, like this, you just scroll all the way down here to the bottom here, where it's got this nice little thingy. <laughs> it says uh, download from FTP number one or number two. It's got the two links here. Just click on either of one of those, and it'll download. It'll start the download on your program, whatever. Doesn't matter if you've got Google Chrome or Firefox or Internet Explorer for whatever goddamn reason you might have that. Um, doesn't matter. It'll work either way. So I've got this all downloaded already. Uh, like I said, all of these will always, always come in either a zip file or a RAR file uh, or a 7z file um, either way. Uh, in order to extract one of these you need either 7-zip or WinRAR and definitely you want to get 7-zip because it's just a bajillion times better. Um, so all you gotta do is right click on the file with 7-zip and then you know you got the little option here 7-zip hit open archive and there you go inside the archive you've got all these files that you need uh, the pbo's pbo.bysign bykey all that kind of stuff you need all of that it's very important now this right here this is another map that i actually uninstalled um, simply by removing the mod folder from my arma directory uh... But this is just a little i'll just show you this because it's a little way of showing how it's uh... how the mod folder works so this is from a map called beketov uh, and the the file, the mod folder, is called at Beketov there. You click on that and you've got add-ons inside of that and inside the add-ons folder you've got all the PBO files. Now that's that's the layout for a basic mod folder. It's just a at whatever, doesn't matter what you name it. it of course you want to name it something relevant to the mod itself, so if it's the M40 mod you want to name it at M40 or Hazarkot Valley at Hazarkot, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, so it's easy to find later on if you want to uninstall it or install it or whatever. So inside of that you want the add-ons folder and then the PBOs. Real easy, right? So we can minimize that. And now to actually make the folder, you gotta put it inside your Arma 2 directory. Now, if you've got Arma 2 on Steam, you gotta go to your Steam directory. I've got a little shortcut here. Uh, and you go into Steam, it's, you know, wherever you have it installed, and the game will be in one of these folders. Like, see here, I've got Arma 3. I actually have that uninstalled, but there's the folder for it. Uh, the easiest way to find that is to uh, pull up your Steam library and right-click on it, and 
go to properties, I believe, and there's an option for uh, browsing local files. It's pretty easy to find. Uh, but if you're like me and you don't have it installed on Steam, I got mine off Amazon. You know, it works the same if you have it, if you have the disc for the game. Uh, you just go to the exe, right click on it, and open the file location, or you can go directly to it by going to your computer and local disk and finding the install directory. Uh, the way I do it, it just it takes you straight to the directory uh, really fast. But now you'll see I've got all these uh, these mod folders in here. You know, there's one for every mod I've got. Well, just about. Uh, so there's some workarounds uh, without having to. You know, it cuts out some of the time involved in installing a mod. But uh, yeah, to make a new mod folder. Just, uh, this is on Windows 7, by the way. I don't know if it works the same with uh, other file or other uh, OSs and things like that. But with this, you can click New Folder up at the top, or you can right-click and hit New, and then the option will come up. There it is, Folder, right there. Uh, it works either way. Uh, I usually just hit New Folder. Now you want to name this something relevant to the mod, like I said. So since we're installing the M40 mod from RH, we'll name it at RHM40, like that. There you go. Now, go inside of this folder, create a new one called add-ons. Remember, this is super important. I cannot stress just how incredibly important it is to make sure that you have that add-ons folder in that order, or it won't work at all. So now you go inside the add-ons folder, and this is where you want to put these files, the by key, the PBO, by sign, all that stuff. Uh, I think there's actually another way to put the by key in. It doesn't matter. It's generally not very important as far as I can tell. I don't know what it's for even. I've never had any problems with installing things this way, but that's really that's all you gotta do, is just drag it into your add-ons folder like that. Now, you can if you want, you can go down here to the add-ons folder that pre-exists. This has all the PBOs and buy signs and things from stuff that's from the base game. Like you'll see up here we've got A10s and H64s, that kind of stuff. That's that's stuff from Arma 2 that came with the game when it installed. Uh, expansions, if you have Operation Arrowhead or, or combined operations, like what I've got, it installs everything in the same directory. Expansions is the Operation Arrowhead stuff. So you'll see in here it's got uh, all the important stuff, add-ons, that kind of shit. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's about it. Um, oh, I was going to show you the little workaround. This is what I do when I'm installing a mod. So, where is it? <laughs> um, let's see. RHM40. Now, when you launch up the game, in order to enable the mod and make sure that it's actually running with the game, you just go to the Expansions tab. There's a little tab inside the game. You click on that, and then you just enable the mod from the list, whichever one you want. You can disable and that kind of stuff. But, of course, to do that, you have to restart the game. And, you know, if your computer is like mine, where it's kind of lower end, it'll take a lot of time to, uh, to restart the game. And that can be a huge pain in the ass. So, if you want to go work around that, which is what I usually do if I'm installing a mod, I just want to test it out real quick. Just, uh, instead of doing the mod folder like that, you can take a pre-existing mod folder. Like, see here we got the RH Mark 18. It's another weapon mod. You just go in here, got all the files for that. Now, you can totally just drag the files from another mod into that. And because this mod folder is already in use, it will, uh, it'll see these new mod folders, or, or uh, mod files, the new PBOs, and it will run them with the ones that are already in the mod folder bit confusing, I mean, it's, it's sort of retarded, but it works. You know, it's pretty much the same as just dropping them in the, uh, the add-ons folder. So, yeah, that's just, that's about it. That's pretty much all you have to do. Uh, there's a few other things, like user config, some mods will require that. Um, it's pretty straightforward if, you know, you know, MP missions, if you've got a multiplayer mission that comes in a PBO, that's where you'll drop it, in this MP missions folder. We've got all these uh, DZS files and things like that for our uh, DZS missions. Um, yeah, that's that's it. That's how you install a mod. Uh, basically, some mods will come with the mod folder set up already. You just gotta drag that into your Arma 2 directory. It's pretty easy. Um, yeah, if you know if you've got any questions or uh, if you're confused about something and you want me to explain it a little bit better in more detail, just you know let me know. I, uh, <laughs> I'm. I'm ready to uh, 
answer any questions that you might have. So just let me know in a comment or a message if you want, it doesn't matter. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, see you guys later.